If you have played Roblox Doors, you have likely come across one of the game's two currencies, that being gold. Gold is an item you can find through looting in the various rooms, and it has two purposes. For one, you can use it to purchase various items at Jeff's shop in room 52, and these items can help you tremendously later on in your run. The second purpose of gold is that if you happen to die or beat the game with any in your inventory, then it will be inverted into the game's second currency, those being knobs. Knobs are the main currency indoors, as they can carry over between runs, and they are the final reward you gain for playing the game. However, despite this, they aren't really utilized much. Now, I know it was confirmed that there are some plans for them, so today, in this video, I'll be discussing what knobs might be used for in the future. With all of that being said, let's begin. Alright, so what is there to be known about knobs? Well, as of currently, this currency only has one purpose, and that is that it can be used in the pre-run shop. Now, for those who don't know, at the start of each round, players have the choice to buy some items from a shop which will appear in the elevator you spawn in. These items can only be purchased with knobs, and that is about all the utility the currency has. However, as I had stated previously, the developers have confirmed that knobs will have a greater purpose in the future, and that purpose will be cosmetic or practical. So, what do we know about the future uses of knobs? Well, I believe that one cosmetic-related thing knobs might be used for are item skins. Essentially, a while back a bunch of assets for future doors updates were leaked, and one of these were multiple different retextures for the candle item. Here are all of them I had access to compared to the normal candle, however I do know that there are more. Anyways, I think it would make a lot of sense if players could access these cool reskinned items by purchasing them in the shop. The way I see this working is that after purchasing and equipping an item skin, anytime you find and hold the item in game, its texture will be that of the skin you equip. What's cooler is that if these cosmetic item skins are implemented into the game, then some could be unlocked with certain badges. Like, what if after you complete the game for the first time you get a special reskin of the flashlight or something like that? Or maybe you could get a rare item skins if you have the April Fool's badges. Really, the possibilities of these cosmetics are endless, and I think they would be a great addition to the game if they were implemented. Another cosmetic use of knobs which could be implemented are trails. Essentially, trails are just a fancy name for particle effects. The way this would work is that you could purchase a trail and a certain particle effect would orbit around your player character. As you all probably know, there are a ton of particle effects indoors, such as from Rush. So I don't think it would be too out of the ordinary for the developers to reuse these assets as purchasable commodities. Additionally, these won't really offer any gameplay advantage, so they are strictly cosmetic, which is in bounds of what knobs are going to be used for. Although, I don't really have any evidence supporting the addition of trails to the game, so I guess this could be listed off as a cool idea or something like that. Now, as for the practical uses of knobs, I'm not really sure. We know based on leaks that a ton of new items are coming in the Floor 2 update, so it is possible that this floor would have a pre-run shop where these items could be purchased for knobs. We also know that Jeff and his shop will be coming back to the mines, so it is possible that he may sell some items which can only be obtained through knobs, although I see this route as being less likely. To be fair, I'm pretty stuck on this one, so let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for what knobs will be used for in the future. Anyways, that was all I pretty much had to say about the future uses of knobs in Roblox stores. I'm excited to see what these items will be used for in the future, and hopefully it will be something pretty cool. With all of that being said, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed. 